Hey guys, it's Randy B. And um, I wanna talk to you about why I started Randy B. The number one reason I started it was because I went across the country, trained diversity inclusivity classes for all sorts of corporations, Fortune 500 and small startups, and across everywhere in this, in this country. And what I realized that was consistent is that I was going around and kind of being more like a cheerleader saying, you know, isn't diversity great? Let's all include everyone. And then I'd leave. And that's actually what I feel like the corporations wanted me to do. Because what I've learned and what I realized is that corporations are really afraid to tackle issues such as racism and discrimination and people being homophobic or, you know, uh, not fighting over, um, religion or political parties and they do not they want to act like it doesn't exist so you are most successful when you're quiet and um you know i would have these sessions we kind of have a kumbaya moment at the end and but always without fail somebody would either email me or at the end of class say can i talk to you for a moment and they would let me know how they were suffering in some way and how they were unhappy in some way but Employees all across the country are scared to talk. They're scared to share that they're unhappy or feel uncomfortable um, in their spaces. They don't feel accepted. And that is because they're trained to do so. Because the minute somebody says or points out racism or sexism, they are oftentimes fired or oftentimes ostracized or seen as a problem. And so I decided that I didn't want to be uh, ineffective anymore. I wanted to make a change. I wanted to make a difference. And that's when um, I founded Randy B and began doing real trainings where we talk about real issues, not in a disrespectful way and in a, in a way that makes everyone feel safe and that change actually happens and understandings are bred. Um, but what's been interesting is that on Randy B's uh, site on Facebook, where we talk about issues uh, mainly of race, because uh, it's like a little bit like an affinity group on that Facebook site, a black affinity group. Uh, Facebook now has uh, put me in Facebook jail, I guess. They didn't inform me of it, but I can rarely post. Most posts they won't even accept. And then when I do post, it's not being shown in anyone's feed. So here I am almost at 50,000 followers, very active group. Thank you guys. But the posts aren't showing, like completely shut off. Facebook has given me no explanation, no notes, no nothing. Um, if you know that Facebook, what a big company it is, there still is no uh, 800 number I can call. I've left messages on the email, but those go into some space. And I've just been shut off. I've, and and what, what, what really angers me is if that I, if I had people on there, rappers on there rapping, or if I had like people twerking or people acting in any way inappropriate, getting drunk, people calling bitches and hoes, I promise you that that site would stand. Um, but because I'm just talking about race in an intelligent way and people are sharing how they feel when things happen or when they're discriminated against. Facebook is uh, threatened by that, as a lot of people. And what's interesting to me is that people like our president can be racist, but if minorities share how that racism makes them feel, then that's what's blocked. That's what is what makes people uncomfortable and angry. Um, and we need to change that code of silence. People should not be scared to post, to talk, to share in their work environments, online, or anywhere else. That's the only way we can change, guys, is if we are real about these things that are happening. You know, ignoring them is not going to change a thing. It's only going to make it worse, and it eventually will blow up. This is Randy B. Just sharing my thoughts on this uh, situation with silence. Let me know what you think.